Well, it is the calm before the storm right now in St. Louis for the MTSU basketball team and their fans as they get ready for Sunday's big game against Syracuse. And almost every MTSU fan we talked to on Saturday said that in their wildest dreams, they never expected to be here on a weekend in March getting ready to watch their basketball team in the second round of the NCAA tournament. Absolutely fantastic. I've been a Blue Raider fan alum and a Blue Raider ticket holder since for about 30 years, Blue Raider Athletic Club member 25 years, and this is absolutely unbelievable. We're guilty. We booked one night, <laughs> but we very quickly said, oh, no, we're staying. We're staying. We're not going to let go of this one, so we're, we're here for the duration. It is a tremendous feeling, and you think about it. We beat a Hall of Famer in Tom Izzo, and now we face another Hall of Famer in Jim Beheim. so it is a dream come true, and, and so... The Blue Raiders are in the middle of all this. We're in the middle of March Madness. We're the lead story. And we have a lot of pride in that, Joe, because it's been a long time coming. Expecting a big crowd for a pep rally Sunday afternoon at 3.30 at the Team Hotel here in St. Louis as they send their Blue Raiders off to battle. With the MTSU basketball team in St. Louis, Joe Dubin, Channel 4 News. Well, good afternoon from St. Louis. We're behind me in just a little bit. The MTSU basketball team will take on the Syracuse Orangemen in a huge game for the Middle Tennessee basketball program. And before the team left the hotel today, they had a huge send-off. It was a sea of blue. Middle Tennessee fans drove up yesterday and today to see their team off to battle and hopefully watch this basketball team make history. You see, if Middle wins today, they'll go to the Sweet 16 for the first time in program history. But when you ask fans, about headed to Chicago next week where the Sweet 16 game will be held. They will quietly shush you as they say, let's get through tonight first, then we'll worry about the Sweet 16. We talked to Kermit Davis yesterday. He said his team's got a quiet confidence heading into this ball game. Of course, they're coming off with Summer saying the biggest tournament win in NCAA history. Of course, we'll have a reaction for you tonight on Inside Sports Sunday. For now, in St. Louis, Joe Dubin, Channel 4 Sports. Well, MTSU's amazing run in the NCAA tournament came to an end on a cold night here in St. Louis. A team that couldn't miss a bucket on Friday couldn't make a bucket on Sunday against Syracuse. And even though their dreams of going to the Sweet 16 were dashed, it was still one heck of a run for this MTSU basketball team. I mean, this last week has been, um, been great. I mean, I love all these guys on this team. We became closer throughout the season um, in the summer. So this last this last week was just real terrific. To have a have a season like we had this year, and for uh, for me to be such a big part of what we've done, um, I mean, it's just one of the best experiences I'll ever uh, have. A, a team that, you know, Marty, a couple about three weeks ago, I mean, had two or three really hard injuries, and, and to kind of go through the conference tournament like we did, and and to have the, the matchup and be that big of underdog against Michigan State. And I think that'll be the legacy, you know. That, that was a great thrill. It was great for our university. It was great for our players. And as one Blue Raider fan told me after the game, when you go talk to the guys, make sure you tell them thank you from us for giving us one weekend we will never forget. In St. Louis with the MTSU basketball team, Joe Dubin, Channel 4 Sports.